My name is Chad Bissonnette. I'm the Executive Director of Roots of Development. We wanted to reach out to you at this moment because of Hurricane Matthew. As you know, Hurricane Matthew made landfall in Haiti Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and is expected to uh, leave behind lots of damage to the country, including perhaps uh, the island of Lagunav where we work. Now, being here again with another natural disaster we faced in 2008, we faced in 2010, 2012 with Hurricane Sandy, uh, and now here we are again in 2016, we felt it important to reflect on both what the work we've done so far, that its impact on disaster preparedness, on where these communities are at and what they can do to respond to, to their needs after a natural disaster such as this. And two, what is the best role we can have as an organization committed to long-term sustainable development when it comes to relief? In terms of the first component of what our work up till now, the impact that that's had, well, what we can say is when we reflected on this is that the community is absolutely capable now of getting out there, organizing the community, organizing community meetings in order to identify its greatest needs, to communicate those needs to us and to other partners, as well as starting to implement, using local resources, some of their relief efforts, some of what they recognize they need to do in order to get things back to where they were. When it comes to the best role that we can play as an organization without, without undermining or compromising our core principles or that, that philosophy of development without dependency, we broke it down into four main ways that we can support our local partners. One being by, start, by beginning to ask questions of what do you all need and what are you all doing to address those needs? And then moving that conversation to what role can we play to complement um, those efforts that you have already started uh, locally? This will change the dynamic and change the dialogue so that it really is not just about what can we find elsewhere, but it's about we've got issues, these are our needs, we've identified, this is what we can do, and we'll, fit, we'll seek help for the rest, for what we need uh, support with. Two, we can help connect them to other partners. We can help them connect them to local government officials that we have relationships with already, with other nonprofit organizations that we'll be able to help in other ways to supplement uh, the resources that they can collect locally. Three, we can provide them with larger funding, larger funding that is very difficult for them to mobilize locally because of a lack of a, a strong private sector, lack of sources of revenue to that level that can help people replace homes that fell um, and, other, and, and other issues like that, immediate needs like that. We also recognize the need that this is about funding. It's not about goods. It's not about in-kind donations. Uh, money allows us to really address their needs, making sure that what we're providing them with, with them with fits their needs, and we are not getting into the risks of having to transport goods down to Haiti, get them through customs, um, spend money on transportation, and not compromising local economy as well, uh, really buying um, everything in Haiti. We also recognize the need to incorporate long-term disaster preparedness into our ongoing regular workshops and trainings that we are constantly providing our local partners in order to build up that organizational capacity so that they can better manage their own development efforts and now as we see also relief efforts. So really finding, identifying the right partner who has a lot of experience with that to get them out to Laguanav to work with those local partners to build this um, level of capacity up as well. So we just wanted to share this with you in order to transparently share this kind of this reflection that we've had at this time. And in order to really let you know when you provide support to us, this is what it goes to. This is what it funds. It funds, sure, at times of relief, it funds specific areas of need, but that it also plays into and supports this ongoing common theme of long-term sustainable community-driven development that we um, are all about. So thank you all for your support. We'll continue to update as more information comes along. Thank